it's Claire. I am sitting right now on my floor, pretty much enclosed by all my clothes. I wanted to do this video for you guys for the longest time. I am doing this video because I thought I would share my tips on how to pack for a big trip, something like going to Europe, and I just went recently for two weeks, and I can't believe I already have went and come back. It was truly one of the best trips of my life. A uh, part of the trip was knowing how to pack for it, and I happened to be in Europe during fashion week, so the pressure was on to kind of look my best, but be comfortable. So to give you a quick background, I went to Barcelona first, and then I went to Munich during Oktoberfest, and the last place I went to was Paris. So the three places I went to, uh, I left about the middle of September and then came home uh, at the beginning of October so all in all it was about a two-week uh, vacation it's really important to research where you're going and kind of get an idea of what the weather is going to be like at that month so I researched the the temperature and the weather conditions of each places so you can get kind of gauge an idea of what the weather is going to be like and just how to prepare. So what I have here is not everything I packed, but I'm gonna show you guys, I think, the essentials and give you guys some of my tips on what to bring. And also I'm gonna let you guys know about some of the regrets or the fails uh, for what I brought on the trip that didn't really work out or that I didn't end up using or needing. What I'd like to talk about first is what I brought as far as a purse. And I have this messenger bag here, and I highly recommend if you are going to places in Europe or wherever you might be going. I did go to some places that are notorious for pickpocketing, so um, I was told that always to have zippers in your bag, a thick strap so that no one can cut your your strap as you're walking. I even read things like that. I was just like, oh, that's crazy. You definitely have to be protective of your stuff, especially your valuables. You have your passport, your money. You just want to be protective of all that stuff so I have this bag here from Goodwill and I love it because the thick strap it was a good size not too big not too little and it could hold a lot of stuff these are just Ray-Ban the classic aviators so I had these and I had uh, my tour guidebook I had a guidebook that uh, I had for each location and it was the top 10 uh, it's actually the eyewitness travel top 10. I highly recommend these travel books to have. They have a map in them to help you get around. They have great recommendations and it's a very recent updated version uh, so that it's giving you the latest and best ideas in the place that you're visiting. I always kept a, a journal um, just to help write things down that would be funny in the moment or reminders and I just always had it on me just in case and I can always refer back to it. I also recommend having a journal before your trip as well just to write down everything you need to get and just kind of writing planning out your your whole trip and kind of just seeing your process is really fun to look back on so this fits in there nicely hand sanitizer is really important just to if you don't have access to a sink or maybe you're on a metro or something you just want to always have this just to keep your hands sanitized just in case you aren't able to get to a bathroom a wallet also just with a lot of slots I right now I look like I was wiped out clean uh, but I'm just reorganizing it after my trip but this is where I actually put my passport in here and for extra security I put a rubber band around it so that I always just, you know never risking it of it falling out so it's good to have a small handheld wallet the next thing I want to talk about that I think is so important especially when you're traveling are great comfortable shoes now I had the selection here I brought four pairs of shoes these I wore pretty much the entire trip a great classic black pair of boots I have these that are from Baker's shoes they have the zipper in the back to kind of add a little edginess to it these were amazing you guys because they were so comfortable for walking long distances I walked all day each day we kind of when I went I avoided using the metro so you want a very comfortable shoe and since it was get it was kind of a cold temperature where I was it was about it was always in between the 50s or the 70s 
And so I, I loved having these because you can wear them in the daytime with jeans or with leggings, but you can dress them up at night with a dress. I do also recommend a great flat as well. These I uh, definitely loved during the trip. These are from Aldo. These are just shiny, great flats that are very comfortable and I've broken in. Um, unfortunately, these I brought and I love and these are great for casual wear. You can wear them with an oversized sweater and leggings or skinny jeans. But my my only issue was I didn't break these in. I thought I could buy these and just break them in in Europe. You don't want to do that. You definitely want to break your shoes in way before your trip. And then I brought one pair of brown boots just to change it up and have another neutral. And this one had a slight heel, but this was the only heel that I brought as far as shoes. To make the shoe extra comfortable, I suggest bringing very thick socks, almost like airplane style socks so that you don't feel your heel or or the side of your foot starting to wear at all, the thick sock will prevent that. So when I packed for clothes, I wanted to pack things that I knew I can get a bunch of different outfits out of. So usually for me that means bringing in a lot of neutrals and then the way I can change up my looks is by uh, adding a pop of color to them, whether it's with jewelry, whether it's with makeup, but it's important because you want to be able to get a bunch of different outfits out without packing so much stuff. I only brought one check-in luggage bag so I wanted to make sure I can get a lot of use out of every clothing item that I brought. Uh, bringing neutrals is a really great thing to do and also bringing pieces that you can layer with. Um, so I first want to talk about some of my layering pieces that I think are really essential to bring and I got a lot of use out of and that is, you guys have even seen me wear this in a lot of my my videos and it's a denim denim top here and it's just a button down and it's not a super tight one it's a it's it's a medium but um you can use this as uh, almost like a cardigan or you can wear it on its own and then wear a cardigan over it you can wear it with a necklace you can get a lot of different wears out of this in which i did and I absolutely just love this one. It's from Forever 21. You can find them anywhere right now. Also, I recommend having a nice, warm, black basic cardigan. This one is from uh, United Colors of Benetton, but any kind of warm black cardigan. I wore this with the denim. Um, you can wear this with any, anything that I'm laying here. You can wear it with black cardigan. It's just an essential. Also, I got my Goodwill I call this my grandpa style uh, beige cardigan that I absolutely love. I think I wore this also with the denim jacket and uh, it's just a great layering piece to keep you warm um, and it's just going to go with everything. So that's what I mean with the neutrals. You want them to be able to layer and get a lot of different looks with it. Going on to bottoms, I think for bottoms you definitely want to have a great pair of comfortable jeans. I brought my Nordstrom Rack. Uh, for All Mankind 7 jeans and they're just a great classic denim. They are a skinny jean but they are very comfortable. You really want to go for comfortable and these are just sort of like my favorite jeans. Also a great black denim is, is awesome for daytime and nighttime. Again, you want to get a lot of use out of it around the clock. I had to go in with the trend. I had to bring in these, especially Paris Fashion Week. I wanted to rock these on the streets so I bought a pair of kind of that waxy finish burgundy pants. Also got these from Forever 21 and they are so comfortable and this color is just to die for. It looks good on everybody. Another recommendation I have is to bring leggings and tights. They don't take up much room but you want to be comfortable and like right now I'm sitting kind of like in a pretzel or I don't even know just a weird position. There was one night where I had to sleep on a train overnight and so I um, was able to wear these at the train station with my boots but then took off my boots and was able to sleep in these so um, just having that option of being comfortable you also maybe want tights or stockings they don't take up much room at all but they really change the way your outfits look especially if it gets cold at night you can throw on some stockings with that dress you wore in the day and just kind of transition your outfit from day to night in that way. Here I have like an off the shoulder black sweater material dress. This looked great with the black boots that I had and then at, at night I would always add stockings and then maybe do a red lip or add some jewelry to it. I have this gray one here that I love 
from Target and it's a nice kind of like scoop neck style so it shows off the back and also the kind of just the collarbone area here. 